The 1908 Republican National Convention was held in Chicago Coliseum, Chicago, Illinois on June 16 to June 19, 1908. It convened to nominate a successor to the popular GOP president, Theodore Roosevelt and his vice president, Charles W. Fairbanks. U.S. Secretary of War William H. Taft of Ohio won Roosevelt's endorsement and received the nomination. The convention nominated New York Representative James S. Sherman to be his running mate. The platform The Republican platform celebrated the Roosevelt administration's economic policies such as the keeping of the protective tariff, establishment of a permanent currency system the Federal Reserve, additional government supervision and control over trusts. It championed enforcement of railroad rate laws, giving the Interstate Commerce Commission authority to investigate interstate railroads, and reduction of work hours for railroad workers, as well as general reduction in the work week. In foreign policy, it supported a buildup of the armed forces, protection of American citizens abroad, extension of foreign commerce, vigorous arbitration and the Hague Treaties, a revival of the U.S. Merchant Marine, support of war veterans, self-government for Cuba and the Philippines with citizenship for residents of Puerto Rico. In other areas, it advocated court reform, creation of a Federal Bureau of Mines and Mining, extension of rural mail delivery, environmental conservation, upholding of the rights of African Americans and the civil service, and greater efficiency in national public health agencies. The platform lastly expressed pride in U.S. involvement in the building of the Panama Canal, the admission of the New Mexico and Arizona territories, called for the celebration of the birthday of Abraham Lincoln, and generally deplored the Democratic Party while celebrating the policies of the Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> Speakers The following individuals spoke at the 1908 Republican National Convention. Many spoke with the goal of nominating a specific nominee as this was before the age of the primary and the nominees were all decided at the convention. <laughs> <laughs> June 16 Prayer by R. T. Rev. P. J. Muldoon v. G. Julius C. Burroughs, Michigan Senator. Topic: <inaudible> June 17. Prayer by Rev. William Otis Waters. Henry Cabot Lodge, Massachusetts Senator. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> June 18. Prayer by Rev. Dr. John Wesley Hill. George Henry Williams, former Attorney General Henry Sherman Boutel of Illinois, lawyer and diplomat Joseph W. Fordney, Congressman of Michigan Frank Hanley, Governor of Indiana Charles A. Bookwalter, Mayor of Indianapolis Stuart L. Woodford, former Congressman and Judge of New York Theodore E. Burton, Congressman of Ohio George A. Knight, Attorney and Businessman C. B. McCoy, Ohio factory owner W. O. Emery, young black delegate from Macon, Georgia Robert S. Murphy, lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania James Scarlett, prominent attorney from Danville, Pennsylvania Henry F. Cochams, Wisconsin football star Charles A. A. McGee, author of The Truth About Money, from Wisconsin Topic. June 19 Prayer by Rabbi Tobias Shanfarber Timothy L. Woodruff, businessman and former politician Joseph Gurney Cannon, Speaker of the House Augustus E. Wilson, Governor of Kentucky Henry Cabot Lodge again. Chase Osborne of Michigan James Brownlow Yellowly, Mississippi State Legislator Thomas N. McCarter, former Attorney General of New Jersey and public servant William Warner, Senator from Missouri Julius C. Burroughs of Michigan Presidential candidates 
Prior to the convention, Vice President Charles Fairbanks and New York Governor Charles Evans Hughes both seemed like plausible nominees, but Roosevelt was determined to pick his own successor. Though Roosevelt preferred Secretary of State Elihu Root, Root's age and background in corporate law made him an unpalatable nominee, so Roosevelt instead supported Secretary of War William Howard Taft. Entering the convention, Taft, buoyed by the support of the popular Roosevelt, was virtually assured of the nomination. Taft won the presidential nomination on the first ballot, overcoming Fairbanks and the other candidates. Topic. Withdrew before convention Topic. Declined to seek nomination Topic. Vice presidential candidates Taft preferred a progressive running mate such as Indiana Senator Albert Beveridge or Iowa Senator Jonathan Dolliver, but Representative James S. Sherman of New York had the support of Speaker Joseph Gurney Cannon and the New York delegation. Sherman was a fairly conservative Republican who was nonetheless acceptable to the more progressive wing of the party. Sherman won the vice presidential nomination on the first ballot, taking 816 of the 979 votes cast. Former New Jersey Governor Franklin Murphy received 77 votes while Massachusetts Governor Curtis Guild Jr. received 75 votes, with the remaining votes going to Governor George L. Sheldon of Nebraska and Vice President Charles Fairbanks. Declined to seek nomination See also History of the United States Republican Party List of Republican National Conventions U.S. Presidential Nomination Convention United States Presidential Election, 1908 1908 Democratic National Convention <laughs>